So Minecraft 1.20.30 was a huge update. It brought in everything from many new parity changes, a buff to diamond generation, and a huge nerf to villager discount. But it also did something else. It completely broke the game and it's made it practically unplayable for quite a many people, depending on your circumstances. We're going to go over that here in just a little bit. On top of that, a, like a list of other like pretty bad and annoying bugs have been introduced as well. So we'll go over some of those and stick around to the end because I'm going to go over how if you're experiencing this incredibly bad lag, I have a way that should work for you to fix it until Mojang fixes it in a patch. But for now, click that like button to show that you enjoy this video and you want to support the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Probably about half of you, if not more, are not subscribed, so that helps out a lot as well. And drop me a comment down below. Let me know what bugs you're seeing in 1.20.30 or if you're experiencing this super crazy performance bug and let me know how it's been affecting you down in the comments down below. So first, I ran across a couple of bugs that don't seem to be active all the the time. I don't know what triggered them. I don't know if it was just a one time thing. I'm not really sure. I haven't heard of anybody else having these issues, but I had one on stream in my last live stream where I couldn't damage mobs by punching them. I could damage them if I hit them with a tool or a weapon, but if I try to just punch them, wouldn't do any damage. It didn't matter if I had an item in my hand, item not in my hand, but relogging did fix this issue. So if you happen to run across that, then try just relogging your game and hopefully that'll fix your issue. Um, add another one too in a world I was working on where I was just trying to like type some stuff on a sign and it wouldn't type like I got to put in one sign but then I tried to place another sign wouldn't let me type anything try to edit that sign wouldn't let me type anything try putting signs in different positions wouldn't let me type anything so I don't know what that was about I even tried relogging the game reopening Minecraft that didn't work but I came back like several hours later and it, it worked again so not again not sure what that was but it's kind of crazy too and then there's another bug that's super annoying and all of you've probably noticed this if you've jumped into water it's really loud like deafening loud and there's not really much you can do about that outside of like going into your options go to settings go to audio and then scroll to player sounds i think water is under the player sounds so you're not going to hear yourself like eat and stuff like that anymore but if you take that a decent amount down it will get rid of that sound for you that super loud water sound hopefully again they get that fixed here pretty soon that covers the little stuff. Now let's talk about the big one. Actually, I have a test world where I was messing with this and you're going to notice some big issues in your world that have significant performance implications and it, it can essentially render your game, your world unplayable and the lower end device you have, the worse that it is. And this performance issue I have found and others have found has to do with villagers. But, oh, I totally forgot that I did that. Well, there goes those guys. So in any event, I can actually, that's good. I can kind of put this on display for you right now because I did some testing and found some things out. And here's what I found out. So first of all, as you can see here, everything's running pretty smooth. You should be able to tell that. And a good way I've been using to test this is just stacking a whole bunch of scaffolding up, a whole lot of it, just send it way, way, way up in the air and then just break the bottom one down. And you'll see the scaffolding does what you think it should do. It just it just works its way up and it breaks and it comes down, okay? Now, when we add in some villagers into the mix, we have uh, workstations for farmers here. We have 12 of them. So if I just put down 12 of these guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and we had two nitwits and a baby villager. So let's put down another three. Let all these guys sync up and start doing their thing. You can already see the lag. Look, look, they, they're frozen right there. So watch what happens now when I place all of this scaffolding down. And the reason why this is hitting a lot of people is because villagers are very common to use and playing in and working in villages is very common to do as well. So this is why this bug is hitting so many people. Watch this. I'm going to go and knock this thing out now. Look, look at it. Stop. Look at it. Stop. It's just complete freeze framing right now. So what we suspect is happening here is villagers like active pathfinding is causing this problem. It's villagers looking to go do something, not just simply villagers existing. And I think I can prove this by knocking out all of these composters. And what we should see happen 
is the lag stops because those villagers, they're no longer actively looking for something to do. They're like, they're gone, they've gone down to their default pathfinding, which is just kind of like aimlessly wandering around. So let's see if this is actually the case or not, because I have not fully tested everything to do with this. And I want you guys to be able to get rid of the lagging world here. Let's add in a few more. So if I knock out this bottom one, oops, there we go. As you see, look, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, again, let me put in a profession block here that is probably not going to cause a lot of lag. Something that does not require active pathfinding to do things. Let's say the brewing stand. So I put in 12 of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All of our villagers slowly will pick up professions. There they go. And again, I can go through here, add in a whole bunch of scaffolding and then knock it out. And what we should see, it's a scaffolding still breaks fine. Look at it. There it goes, perfect. So active pathfinding by villagers is the problem. So this is really only gonna affect your villagers in a couple of unique scenarios. One, you have farmer villagers that have crops that they want to tend to, crops to pick or crops to plant that wrecks your performance. If you have that happen, you either need to get rid of the farmers or you need to get rid of the farmland. One of the two has to go for now. You can get away with having a little bit of farmland and like maybe a farmer villager, but once you start stacking in a few farmers or a decent amount of farmland, it's gonna wreck your system. Number two is whenever the villagers have something specifically they want to do. They want to run away from a zombie. They want to um, run to their houses because there's a raid in the village and the bell start, you ring the bell and they start running away from the raid. Those types of events are going to cause the villagers to like emit an immense amount of lag. So I got everything set back up here. We have all of the stuff here and just getting rid of the crops won't do you very much good because the villagers are just gonna come and replant it if they have like the space to do so. So I think what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go through, if you don't wanna get rid of the actual villagers for some reason, because I don't know, maybe you have already like traded with them and you don't want to lose their trades or whatever, um, then you're gonna have to go through and just get rid of the farmland. Cause it's not, it's not the fact that they're farmers is the problem. It's the fact that they have something to do that's the problem so just to prove that here i'm going to get rid of all of the farmland or even better i'm just going to get really far away from it that was taking too long to do and i can place down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we had 12 villagers over there i'll set up 12 again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and 12 villagers so we have 12 farmer villagers 12 beds no farmland anywhere in sight and if i'm correct here Boom, there you go. Worked perfectly fine. So some final thoughts here. First of all, I don't know what Mojang did with this. Sometimes little stuff like this can slip through. Like you can't blame the developers, but so much. But at the same time, they probably need to test this type of stuff a little bit better because this bug is huge and it's very noticeable for a ton of players in a ton of different scenarios. So this is something that definitely should have been caught. Number two, I haven't seen them say anything about this yet. I have not seen any acknowledgement from any of the developers. Um, and I would assume that a hot fix is coming, right? But that hasn't been told to us. So we don't we don't know for sure if and when a hot fix is coming to fix this problem. And number three, you guys now know exactly what to do to fix this issue. Get rid of active pathfinding. If you have like a trading hall, you're probably fine. You're not seeing any lag. You can have a hundred villagers, that doesn't matter. It's when they have something they want to go do, that's the problem. So get rid of your farmland or your farmers, one or the other, whichever is more convenient for you. And then it's, you're just gonna have to stay that way until they've patched this problem, because unfortunately it's it, it's here now. And I don't know how long it's going to be here. That sheep though, he's gone. Um, As far as, hey, why are they all looking at me? I, like I did something terrible. Get rid of your farmers. Outside of that, I don't know if there's any other big performance issues. If you've seen any other performance-based issues or any other bad bugs that came with 1.20.30, which came out a few days ago, drop me a comment down below and let me know. If you appreciate this video and giving you this information, drop the video a like so more people get to see it. We need to spread this information around as much as we possibly can. Subscribe to the channel for more great news, information, and Minecraft videos. I'll be happy to give them to you. And if you can, make sure you hit that super thanks button to donate to the channel. Thanks so much, everybody, and I'll see you next time.